we live here? Mm-hmm. We're live. We're live. What's going on, everybody out there in Southern Boys World in the Bruce Mitchell world? What's up, Kenny? What's up? I just stopped in to see Kenny. I seen you tried to call me this morning. Yeah. But uh, I kind of off the phone again in the truck. <laughs> I just found it and I picked it up. You know, coming this away from Baton Rouge, dropped off my old go devil. And I seen where you called, so I decided to stop in to see you. Yeah. See all the good stuff you got. You got all good nice stuff in here. Y'all need to go in and take a look around. Yeah. We start to get a lot of stuff in, more and more stuff every day. We get a, yeah. a new shipment in. We just got a bunch of archery stuff in and got a lot of deer scent products and all that stuff. We got some bows behind us and got some guns. And uh, y'all, Bruce has got a gun that's come out. It's yeah. a, uh, it's a 450 Bushmaster. Bushmaster, Bruce Master. Bruce Master, that's <laughs> it. It is bad as bone. And uh, me kidding that we just got on a new lease together, actually. Yeah. And uh, a couple more. With old Paul LeBlanc. And Paul yeah. LeBlanc yeah. from yeah. LeBlanc Skinny Shed, he is our president yeah. of the hunting club. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but anyway, Paul said we could go in there and shoot out everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, right. No, he did. No, <laughs> but we gonna, uh, I can't But it does. That, that lease over there that we got in. It's loaded with hogs. Loaded with hogs. And I tell you what, I got some nice bucks on camera on, over yeah. there already. On the spot on camera, I'm already getting some nice bucks over there. I'm, uh, so I'm going to go on there next Saturday. We got work day or something. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go out there. And, uh, but I've been on this lease 100 times. Until I paid to get on it, and I ain't been. Yeah. <laughs> Once I paid to get on it, I ain't never been back. Yeah. You've but, been on it more before you paid, yeah. and then maybe you shouldn't have paid. No. Well, <laughs> just, well, just stuff happened with the form. We're working on yeah. the form, getting it going, and stuff like that. But uh, I can't wait to get in there, shoot some hogs. Uh, I'm gonna start baking them up. I guess. How long we got for deer season? No, uh, we got, October first is the opening mm -hmm. day of bow season. I need so. to get in there. Yeah. Yeah, because I hate to shoot hogs during deer season, but right. unless they come up, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to shoot them. We're going to shoot them. <laughs> I can't wait to put that 450 on and see what happens. Now, what, what do you got going on over there at your, what, what you got going on at your little store stuff? We, we're only open like uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday right now from 10 to 3. We're just getting our store on, you know, the online store going and we're right. getting stock put in. You know, it just takes a lot of money to do right. all that. You know that. Yeah. And we're just working on that and you're slowly getting it going, waiting on our permits for the alligators and stuff. As soon as we get that open, we're probably gonna be really full swing by March. Right. That's what we're shooting for. But we just kinda of working stuff up to keep going, to get our office going and right. and, and the computers and stuff. Uh, that computer stuff is uh, crazy, huh? And yeah. web business has changed since we've been out of it for fifteen right. years. Uh, dealing with the pump and stuff, all your, your you've got new cat register systems that track all your right. stuff and all that. And of course, they don't let me touch none of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they try to keep me from not touching around here, but I touch it anyway. You touch it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I they, touch it anyway. They just they totally banned me from touching. It. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like if somebody passing through Louisiana on Interstate 55 well, or Interstate 12, Bruce is located in. Hammond, Louisiana. Yep, you get yep. off there in Hammond, get Louisiana, Louisiana. or Ponchatoula. Yep. And and, uh, Kenya. If you're coming down, if you're coming down 55, just hang a right right there. Come on right down the there. He's right off the interstate, just a few miles down. Got all your hunting stuff. Come right. in, talk to him, take a picture with him. We, what well, we, we're located on one side of Interstate 12, and Bruce is located on the other side of Interstate 12. Our business is probably about five miles yes, six right. miles apart so yeah. so we're right here in Hammond Louisiana anybody passing through want to stop in see the Southern Boys Outdoor store see Bruce's store what he's got going on and uh you, you'll better to uh, check us both out and you got it all you can get it in this department over here <laughs> get your gun you can hunt yeah. it shoot it he got knives over here he got the wraps of razor knives and stuff yeah. you can clean it and get it all ready once you get that part done, you just step over to the next section. You got the trigger going yeah, here. Trigger over here to cook <laughs> and then if you get ready, you can come over, uh, go outside and shoot your bow. Yeah, that's right. You can shoot your bow. Oh, right the archery over. range. He's so. got a big archery range. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm a, I, I got my crossbow. Oh, Matt sent me the crossbow. And uh, I've shot it a few times. This year, I, I want to use it. 
Yeah. Yeah, to bring it over with we get yeah. it all set. Yeah. We done Paul's the other day. Oh did you? Yeah, got it shooting dead on. Okay, well I gotta bring mine over. I'll do that one day this week probably. Paul It'll left be here. Fine. After I got Paul's crossbow shooting, he left here twisting his booty. He thought he was all all oh, excited. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, well, he did. He was he's going. Woo, he's going to be pulling up in this driveway. He, well, he's. <laughs> I failed to hurt myself fly fishing. Oh, I guess ten years ago. Well, maybe a little longer than that. But anyway, I pulled a shoulder out of the socket. I broke three or four ribs. And uh, ever since then, I, I never could hold my bow. So I give my bows away. I had, and this is probably fifteen years ago. I had a bunch of boys in Walmart one night, and I had five or six. I, I, I don't even, yeah, PFC, yeah. a couple of darns, a couple of bears, and uh, right. this was 15 years ago. And this was all top of the line stuff back then. Well, I couldn't use them. Every time I pulled back, I'd, I'd shake like that. So I, I said, I ain't going to hunt. So I seen some boys at Walmart, and they was looking at the boat, and they were about 14, 15. And they said, man, when I save money, I'm going to get me one of them. I said, y'all parents around here? They said, yeah, right over there. I said, I will give each one of y'all a boat. And yeah. arrows. They said, what? So <laughs> the parents come over there. I told them where I live. I said, y'all come by my house. I'll give each one of these boys a boat. And every once in a while, I see one of them boys in town or something. Yeah. Mr. Brooke, we still got that boat. Still got it. Come on. But you get the kids a boat, you know, because I knew I wasn't going to use it no more. I couldn't hold it. Right. You know, and, and out there, you know, a lot of people talk about the crossbows, and they say, yeah. oh, well, that's that's not hunting, or I would, but let me tell you something, you know, if you out there, if you want to hunt with a crossbow, a bow, yeah. a, a spear, or a knife, as long as you're buying your hunting license, and you're yeah. going hunting, and you're doing everything legally, man, go hunt. Go hunt. Because we it. sell less and less hunting license every year, yeah. and, we, and, and a lot of hunters fight against themselves, like, oh, you hunting in a box line, that ain't hunting. Oh, you do it. It's like, there, just go hunt. Just enjoy go life, hunt. go hunt. And I know people that go hunt every year. They really don't even bring a gun because they care less they shoot a deer, no? Right. Just to get out and do something, you know? That's it. And that's, you know, if you want to do that, get out and take pictures. You know, me and Janet done this a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, actually. We took our, uh, the big the go devil. We t- loaded up a kayak, went to the lake, okay? We tied the go devil up, we got the kayak, made a couple little rounds. We come back and had my little cooker there. We heated up some hot dogs and chili. Okay? The people got a kick out of it. Right. And I said, you know, to have a cheap date tonight, it's gonna cost me about five dollars to feed me in her. <laughs> but we had a good time. And we got out and we went and did something. You right. know, that's the main thing. And I was telling the people what me and Janet used to do years ago, we used to take a thermos bottle, heat hot dogs and chili up, put them in there. Put the lid on it. It was good all day. It didn't say hot all day. We take our buns and stuff. Just go with, just walk trails and stuff, and just right. stop and eat. You know, just so you're doing something. So I had a lot of my people on my Facebook telling me that they were, they went to the park, and they couldn't get out because they was on the oxygen or something. But at least they got out of the house and did right. something. Get out. Went to the, the park and ate. Right. Ate hot dogs. They said the best time they had in years. Yeah, just eat hot dogs. Just eat no hot dogs. <laughs> hot dog. Well, you, you talk about, you talk about. This. And take your kids, take your kids. That's it. Get outdoors. Yeah, Get that's outdoors it. and enjoy I the outdoors. T- I took my grandson uh, yesterday and last week. Uh, if y'all follow me on Facebook, you've probably seen it. Took him out jug line. He's three years old. He had the best time of his life. That's all he talked about. Jug line. Big fish pop call. Oh. My, my buddy was with me from California. We went out there. But this jug went down. I said, that's a big one. So I went to help him with it. And I got it up and I scooped it up. And Little was sitting in the back of the boat watching, you know. So I caught the big one. And I, I picked it up, showed the camera. We opened the ice chest and dumped it in there. Well, a little while later, they had another one moving around when Duffy grabbed it. I said, buddy, you need help with it? Nah, I got it. So my grandson sees Duffy just picked the fish up and it's only that long. So he sets in the ice chest, you know, and hooks it, we, we bake them on. Later on, we eating over there, that's a little Lando. Lando's, and uh, anyway, the waitress come up. I said, Buck. He said, what, Pop? I said, who caught the biggest fish? He says, you did, Pop. You did as a big, that big. I said, really? I said, who caught the little bitty fish? He said, Mr. Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. 
But we had a ball. Just yeah. like yesterday, I brought him with him. We went look. Uh, my buddy come down from California. I was showing him on Tampa River the Indian Mountains and stuff. And we used to have a lot of Indians down there. Well, uh, I had Tyler's old blanket. I keep in the truck. Well, I put it. I brought it. Laid it on that floor of that boat. And that ball was out. Come on. <laughs> but it, he was wore out. He was wore out. He had a good time. Yeah. But uh, so talking about all the stuff you've been doing and all that, but. You was telling me earlier you fixing to go up north somewhere. Yeah, I got uh, I had this uh, y'all know I fool with Blackstone all the time. Uh, Blackstone come down, we done a bunch of commercials and stuff. Well, when we got through that evening, them old boys had another day. So I took them out in the swamp riding around, and uh, we throw out a few jug lines, caught some catfish. Well, they filmed it. The next morning we get up, we cook some catfish and cook some potatoes and different right. stuff to go with it. And I got a little special sauce I cooked for them. And uh, anyway, when they got back up north, somebody seen that film. They entered it in a in a food film festival, and it won some kind of awards. So now I got to go to New York City and do some cooking next month. So in hey, New York, Mr. In Bruce, New York yeah. City. Yeah. Hey, Bruce is on his way. <laughs> we got a lot of followings from upstate, oh, yeah. upstate New York. New York. Yeah, I've been all over New York. New York. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've done several shows in Syracuse and around there. I've been to New York City. It's not really my cup of tea. Right. But I don't mind going. To, I, I've seen the 9-11 thing and all that, and that was nice. I like to see all that. Yeah. But it's it's something you really need to see. But it just ain't me. I, right. I can't do the city deal. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's Wait. just too much. We got uh, deer season coming up, and then I'm fixing to head up to Missouri. And uh, I've been up there for oh, probably about three and a half weeks. Yeah. And uh, getting after them deer, and I can't That's, wait. The boat My season. daddy ain't going to come season. home. He says three and a half weeks. He ain't coming home. No, he ain't coming home. every year. <laughs> but I uh, can't wait for that. Then we get uh, get hunting there with uh, Paul LeBlanc at the, at the new lease that we both get. Yeah. And as soon as you get back, we're going we're gonna to start trapping some hogs and doing something. Getting after them big time. Uh, and uh, I like to even shoot one of them across there. I ain't never done it. Yeah. I ain't never shot nothing with the crawl boots. That's all Yeah. And, uh, you got that uh, 450 that you got to shoot one with. Yeah. You yeah. Gotta, we got to try we that We know out. where that one's going to fall. Yeah, we got to try that one. shoot, it's going to fall. I can't wait to do that. Well, Go Brandon, ahead. they got any uh, questions? Anybody? There any was a lady. There? there was a lady named Sheila Peak from Georgia. Sheila Peck. Sheila Peck yeah. from Georgia. Yeah. She said hello. Hey, hello. But yeah. I don't know if she's still on or not. Anybody, anybody got any questions they'd like to ask me or Bruce? Ask away. Someone say, B. someone say, when you go to New York, I want to meet you, Bruce. I'll be there. What part of Missouri do you hunt in? Grant City, Missouri. We hunt in Grant, Grant City, which is just straight north of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, a lot of people are just saying hello. Hello, everybody. Y'all local or just passing through here. If you're going to Baton Rouge, New Orleans, you ain't that far. Come on out and see Kenyon. Yep, stop on by the Southern Boys store here. You got a little bit of everything. You got everything. I uh, got guns, rifles, pistols, knives. Knives. We got just done a deal where we got 18 months interest free financing. Wow. So if anybody's looking for that new gun or whatever, we can get it. We can get it uh, financed. Or no interest at all. So you know, if you finance a thousand dollar gun, then you and you can pay for it over eighteen months, and you pay back a thousand dollars, no interest wow. charge at all. Hello from Colorado. Hello from Colorado. Colorado. Hey, I was out there. I just declined a phone call. I don't know who it was. <laughs> oh, you got all kind of any questions? You got all them them uh, spy point cameras out here too, huh? Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of spy point cameras. They uh, one forty nine. Are you going? Was. Are you going to hunt bear? No, I'm not going to hunt any bear. Now, Bruce, you went bear. I, I hunt bear hunt. I like bear hunt. Yeah, I like, Bruce. Been I like a few eating times. <laughs> yeah, Bruce likes cooking. I've never been bear hunting. Really? I, no, I ain't never been bear. Well, hunting. we need to hook up with my buddy and go I, up there and do some hunting. Then. Yeah, I killed an elk and I killed deer and it, hog. I ain't never killed an elk. That's your elk. Yeah, that's my little elk up there. Hello from Hog Boss. From where? Hog Boss. What's Hog going on? Boss. What's up? What's happening, Corey? 
That's what we we get on that that big hog boss gate. And that's Corey if I was saying hello from hog yeah. boss. And uh, that gate is unique because you just call it and it drops. Right. It's eight foot wide. We done. I mean, you've seen it. We done caught many hog. Grand, so. We need. We done caught many a hog with the hog boss. So it works. It works. We got them available here at the store. They said Bruce will eat anything. You what? They said Bruce will eat anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that. Ain't no, I, I can't. I got to say, yeah. Yeah. You got a bunch of Vanguard stuff up here, too. Huh? Yep. You got a bunch of Vanguard backpacks, shooting sticks, uh, scopes, binoculars. Got a little bit of everything. That was several years ago. You gave uh, me that Vanguard shooting stick. And uh, I used it for a camera set. I used it for a camera That's what the camera stand. set up right Yeah, you got yours set up on it. Can, can you ship a gun to a FFL dealer? Yes. yes. We can ship a gun anywhere. Yep. Yeah, call Brandy B. Uh, she's behind the camera. Uh, camera, call Brandy B at two two five two zero nine zero nine four five. You give her a call and she'll ship them to you. And that's Brandy B right there. Daddy, really? There's Brandy B right there. It's been a long week, and you know that. Turn the okay, camera well, around. Okay, well, I just turn it around where you could. They wanted to see you. Set oh, it you back on. on you you, you get back over there. Oh yeah, we got some big and J. Uh, we got uh, food plot seeds. We got a little bit of everything. Look, uh, uh, not a whole lot of nothing, but a little bit of everything, you know. We got the lethal products with the uh, dirt cover scents and the uh, laundry detergent and the bath wash and all that. Y'all, if, if y'all if y'all are missing and Brandy's not reading the comments to us or reading the uh, questions to us, y'all get on the Brandy beat. Yeah. Call Brandy and get on to her. 225-209-0945 call Brandy and tell her she didn't read your comment it, or your question. Oh, Daddy. Well, I mean, get on to them. You got metal detectors <laughs> too, huh? Uh, I got, you got some metal detectors out here. Yeah, I got a bunch of metal detectors at home. That's metal detector. That's for a kid. That's, that's a kid's metal, metal detector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I ordered one years ago. Well, mm -hmm. so I feel much to go find some treasure. Yeah, which you find? thing that come in. I went and got some batteries put in it. I'm starting to walk around the farm and beep, 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 beep. It picks up that stuff. Yeah. Can, can. Then I found something. Did you a find A little L-shaped thing had diamonds on it. And boy, I was so excited. I found something where it was. And you could tell it was real. You know? And I don't know much about real. So I brought it home and I showed my daughter. She said, that's mine. I've been looking all over that day. <laughs> <laughs> But I That's funny. Good, you know? I, I went Frank out, Williams. I, went I did see your comment, but I don't know your phone number. Two two five two zero nine. No, Frank. Frank got to give me his phone number. Look, I uh took, and I've got some old coins there. Yeah. Now. You know they look like they dirty. I rubbed a little dirt on and yeah. stuff. So Brandy was coming up to the house to to metal the tech, So I went through some out in the yard. Yeah, I went through them out to y'all where she where she could feel like she found something, you know. And if y'all never watch it, go look on YouTube. Uh, I used to do the same thing with my grandmother. I used to take nickels and quarters and diamonds and just throw them out in right. the yard. And if my grandbaby come, I give her the metal detector and just keep her busy. Right. And one day she was over there. She said, "Papa, I want to find some more money." I said, "Okay." So I give her the the thing, and I had to go somewhere. I said. I said, when you get through with it, cut it off and leave it by the tree. Pop will get it. So anyway, she did. She left it by the tree. Well, I got it, and I turned it on, and I was walking inside. And I dug this big old chunk of rock up years ago. And uh, it was real heavy. Well, I threw it in the flower bed. Well, when I walked by, I was doing like this, and I went over that rock. And we had a bunch of rocks there. Well, that went, wee, 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 wee. What was it? So I pulled it out, and I threw it on the ground. Wee, wee, wee. I said, yeah, this one. I said, huh, that's odd. So I put it back in the pile. The next day, we was at Fountain Blue campground out there, and they had somebody talking about uh, meteorites. Huh. So I said, huh. I told him what I had. He said, that thing could be worth $7 million. Said, yeah. 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 It, no, it can be. Well, a couple of weeks later, we were famous swamp people, and... Uh, I had that big old rock, and mm -hmm. uh, one of the producers is out there. He said, "Where well, you got that roof? I said, it might be my retirement. Yeah. And uh, he said, what are you talking about? I said, we think it's a meteorite. So I got the metal detector, I showed him, went off and stuff. 
So anyway, he said, you want to get a test? I said, I don't know where. He said, I call the LSU. So LSU people come out and, and got my thing and took a little bit of chip off of it and tested it. It was swamp ore. <laughs> swamp <laughs> what? Know, yeah, swamp ore. What is that? It's, Somebody's turd had done froze. That's basically what happened. <laughs> it's, it's, worth, it's worth money. <laughs> that turd is worth money? What was people eating for it to go off in the metal detector? No, it was. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at Bruce's YouTube page. Yeah, it's, that would be on the History Channel. On the History Channel's yeah. YouTube page, and you'll see Bruce's meteorite problem. Yeah, swamp, they call it Swamp Ore. Swamp Ore. Yeah, I thought I had some. Because that dude told me, he said, if it's that big around, he said, that could be worth two or three million dollars. I said, yeah. dude, yes indeed. But I, no, I, that's my look. Swamp <laughs> Ore. Yeah. But I still got it at the house. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, anybody got any questions? Right, quick. We're fixing to jump off that's, here. That's phone that's Randy. somebody calling, calling me. Randy, get on to it. Well, you better hold on because well, if someone got it, all kind of broadheads and stuff here. Oh yeah, we got everything. Someone broad asked what heads. kind of broadheads you use on your. Swa- I use Swacker and I use uh, the Blood Sport. So, depends that's, on what bow I'm shooting. That's basically how you started your Facebook business. Is with broadheads, wasn't it? With a Swacker broadhead. Yep. I shot a. Well, busters or something. Well, I, that was I filmed for when we started our television yeah. show okay. in 2008. Yeah. We started Southern Boys Outdoors Television Show, yeah. and we filmed the coon hunt in Greensburg, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And then we had people like, "Oh, when y'all go film something else?" So we filmed another show, and uh, I done it. I filmed a deer hunting show, and I shot a three point mm-hmm. with my bow. And you know, and when I shot it, I was like. I guarantee that's why I'm going all crazy and everything, you know. And uh, the video done really good on television, but then everybody talked about it and all that. But then when it hit, so when Facebook started, I put it on social media. That's when it really took off. Yeah. And I sold uh, many a Swacker Broad here for Swacker Broad here. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> everybody seen like that, that that video. So yeah. that was, yeah, that was at the beginning. Well, you got just about anything to do with hunting. I'm looking at everything. Yeah. A little bit of, we got, uh, got feeders, feeders outside, deer feeders. Like that. Y'all got some deer stands out Deer stands, a shadow hunter. Uh, you remember, uh, you know, yeah. Josh yeah. Uh, from, uh, he used to work with Vango Josh, and yeah. now he's over with shadow hunters. So oh, we got, is Yep, so we got the shadow hunter blinds, and hmm. we got these things called elevators that you just screw right on the bottom of the blind, and your four by four slips right in. Really? Yeah. Pretty neat. Got some Barnett crossbows, expedition bows behind us. Got some uh, ARs over there, Black Rain ARs. Got... Uh, regular hunting guns and let me, let me pistols tell you, and cameras and got a little bit of everything. Let me tell you a story about, about Barnett Crossbow. I met old Matt in Arizona. Yeah, Matt Buzzard. And uh, he, we was at a Gander Mountain. And he was on one side of the store trying to autograph and I was on the other side of the store. But y'all, I don't watch TV, so I didn't know him. Yeah. So I'm looking at the crossbow and Matt walks up. And uh, we on break. And I said, how you doing, buddy? I said, you know anything about crossbow? And he kind of, yeah, yeah, I know a little bit. Yeah. I said, come in for a minute, man. So we start talking. And I really don't know Matt. I don't know him at all. Right. And because I don't watch TV. I didn't know he. Yeah, you, know, you, didn't, know he, you didn't know he owned Barnett. No. <laughs> Matt Busby? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, he's telling me which one I did. And I said, I think I'm going to get this one. He said, Mr. Brute, this one's a little bit cheaper. That'd be better for you. I said, okay. I said, when I get back to Louisiana, I wrote the number down and all that. I said, when I get back to Louisiana, I'm going to buy one. You know? So that night, we got, we, I looked at my wife, I said, I got to go back to work. And he said, yeah, me too. So we took off. And that night, Gander Mountain took us out to eat. So next thing I know, they come back walking through the door. So I put two and two together and come up with five and say, well, heck, apparently he works for Gander Mountain. <laughs> yeah. So he comes over there, sits by me, and we start talking. He said, uh, Mr. Bruce, when I get home, I'm going to send you a crossbow. I said, nah, dude, don't do that. Yeah. He said, no, I really want to send you one. I said, nah, dude, don't. I said, I, I really appreciate it, but, but don't, I'm not like that. I don't want to take right. personal stuff. He said, Mr. Bruce, you know who I am? 
I said, no, you work for Gander Mountain? He said, no, not really. He said, we own Barnett Crossbow. Yeah. I said, oh, well, send me one. Yeah, well, send me one. Yep, and he said, he's in it. Yeah. It's a nice one. Yeah, old Matt, he's something. He's a, yeah. he's a, he's a good guy. He's yeah. comical, fun to be around. Yeah, he is. And uh, he, uh, he's just, he's a fun person. I, I done been around him several other times. You know? Yeah. I know you go up to the hunt with him at once. Yeah, time. yeah, I've been up there a few times on that 55,000 acres. Yeah, they got a couple acres. Yeah, they got a couple acres up there. All right, we're going to wrap it up. All right, bro. And, and uh, y'all, yes, if you're looking for, make sure I got Bruce tagged in the video, so make sure you go over and like Bruce Mitchell's page. Yeah, give me a like. Follow Bruce it. there. There's Bruce a lot of people in here that follows Bruce. They yeah. talk about cooking oatmeal in the morning. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> but also <laughs> look up. Look up Bruce on his YouTube page. They fixing to get busy posting on their YouTube. Yep. So YouTube. any of y'all do YouTube, y'all y'all sign in to well, YouTube. You got coffee mugs here and everything. Huh? Y'all, oh that's nice brandy. Nice. Oh, y'all <laughs> sign in to YouTube <laughs> and and look up Southern Boys Outdoors on YouTube and look up Bruce yeah. Mitchell on YouTube. My my grandbaby was in there the other night. She spent the night and she played. She likes to look at YouTube and uh, she's eight and she kept saying. Something and uh, she said, "Oh my God, it's you, pops! It's you!" I said, "What you talking about?" She was watching us catch the hogs that time. Oh, they got catching the hogs! Yeah. She just she got uh, she just got all excited and all tickled. That yeah. was on the YouTube thing. Oh. Hey, well, y'all, we appreciate everybody following us here on Southern Boys Outdoors. Bye bye. See us. I drop Bruce. Here appreciate all every, everybody following him over on Bruce Mitchell's page there. Yeah. And uh, y'all passing through Louisiana. Stop Whether you're on us. Interstate 55. Or Interstate 12. You got the we're, pass by. We're right off. We're if you ham in Louisiana, we're right off the interstate. You know, Bruce is closer to. Well, we both. You a little bit closer to 55. Yeah. But yeah. you're south of Interstate. We only like what five miles apart. Yeah. So we're right here in Hammond, Louisiana, 11318 Highway 190, Hammond, Louisiana. That's our business. Uh, come by here and we'll get you hooked up how to get to Bruce's. And y'all set up the bows and everything. Okay. Yeah, we'll set up your bows. Bring your bow and shoot. We got an archery range. So. Yeah. And he got your rifle. You can put them uh, good scope, scope on, on yeah. So Bore sight and all that. I see you do all of it. Yeah, well, we done yours the other yeah. day. So. Yeah. And we got out there and just about right where it's supposed to be. That's right. We didn't have to turn it much. Good. All right, guys, y'all come see us. Appreciate everybody following us. All right, thank y'all.